Hello, and today we're going to be talking about a game called Warframe. Warframe is a light MMORPG on consoles and PC. Now we're going to be talking about the playable characters that you can play in Warframe. First, we're going to go underneath the categories of the tank frames. Some frames that fall into this category are Rhino. Rhino is a very tanky frame. One of his abilities allows him to uh, basically have an over layer of armor. Uh, the next Warframe is Wukong. Wukong is an ability that lets him be uh, completely invincible, so when he hits zero health, he goes back up to half health. Gara is also going to fit in this list, and I wouldn't call Gara a complete tank herself. She has an ability that lets her negate 90% of all incoming damage, but her wall is the main reason why I put her into the tank frames. Next up will be Atlas. Atlas, just when he kills people, he uh, he's a rock-based Warframe. So when he kills people, it drops rock particles, which you can pick up for extra armor. Next is going to be Inneros. Inneros is the Warframe with the highest health pool, and almost all of his abilities just allow him to regen his extreme amount of health from his health pool. And last but not least is Nidus. Nidus is the, I would say, the most tanky in the entire game. He can link with enemies, allowing them to take all the damage for him. He also has an innate health regenerative ability, and his alt allows him to send out multiple things that allows to heal for him. Now the next one is Frost. Now most people don't consider Frost a crowd control, they more consider him uh, a, in the tank category. But, but, but built right, Frost is definitely a crowd control. He can freeze the ground, slow enemies, and that's where his crowd controlling comes in, is when he can slow down and freeze those enemies. Now another one that I consider a crowd control frame, which most don't, is Hydroid. Hydroid's ultimate allows to pick up enemies and throw them around, which stops them from moving. Or his puddle form, which will just sucks enemies in and does small bits of damage, but keeps them out of the way. Another one, which is probably one of the biggest crowd control in the game besides Valbon, is Nova. Nova just allows complete control of speed over enemies, whether you want to slow them down or speed them up, it's up to you with her. And the last one I'm putting in this category fully is Nyx. Nyx is just can control minds, make the enemies turn on each other, and fight each other. She's probably my favorite in terms of crowd control. Next, we're going to be talking about support frames. So uh, the main support in uh, Warframe is Trinity. She is both a healer and regens energy. Uh, she's probably one of the most used support frames. Titania. Titania is another really good support frame as uh, she can give buffs to the entire team. Um, Obron. Obron is just another healer. He just allows to heal your team. Ember with her current rework in the game allowed your team to do more damage and uh, control a little bit more of the battlefield. Harrow. Harrow allows to both heal your team and give energy back to your team and give your team more damage, which is he's another really good one. And last would be Necros. I put him here because he can both terrify and scare away the enemies, and he can uh, summon more enemies to be decoys. Now moving on to the damage frames. Damage frames is probably one of the biggest categories that I have here. First we're going to go with Saren. Saren is a toxin based warframe. She just spits out things and destroys. Um, another one is Octavia. Octavia allows for the enemies to shoot her abilities and how much of her damage the enemies shoot it, it spits right back out at them.